Hey everyone, Elite Assassin here. That's right, I'm back for the first time in nearly a year with the commentary. And good news is, I should be back to stay for a while. Now, there's no real excuse to why I haven't been uploading. Um, I do have a few reasons, but mostly it's just been busy. I've been working a lot of overtime. And just been trying to focus on things just in my personal life. Um, game one shape, doing more freelance work, trying to get back to drawing and other hobbies I had you know, when I was younger, some that I want to try to focus on more nowadays. So just some, you know, real life stuff. Nothing too crazy, nothing too terrible, thankfully. But now I have the itch to make videos again. And honestly, I've had that itch for a while. I just really haven't had the time or really just the ability to make them. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, I actually did make a video on Halo Zone earlier this year about Halo Reach and some of my thoughts about coming to MCC, so I would definitely look over there. I'm sure it's buried by now. Um, and I haven't had a chance to make another video for them, unfortunately, but hopefully I'll be able to do that again maybe once a month, and I'll get to what I'm going to be doing here later. But like I said, nothing really bad has happened. It's more been just been personal stuff. And one of the things I'm going to be fixing or correcting is getting a new capture card. Because one of the reasons I haven't been capturing gameplay much is I have an Xbox One X, you know, with the 4K TV and all the awesomeness. Yet I have a capture card that only goes to 1080 and it makes it look worse. The quality isn't that great when I capture anymore. Like, yeah, maybe four or five years ago when I bought that capture card. You know, 1080 was okay. It was kind of even outdated by back then. But I just feel like my gameplay quality could be better. And, you know, my thing has always been, I don't want to give you guys subpar content. And I felt like when it came from... Uh, when it came from a, you know, visual quality, I felt like it was lacking compared to a lot of other people. And obviously, because I use PCLS capture cards and they're kind of behind the times, it was. And I did find one that does 1080 60 and allows for a 4K pass-through, which would be good for me. That means I don't have to keep swapping because you know I have this whole weird setup here where if I'm gonna play 4K, I have these HDMI cords. If I'm gonna record, I have to put these HDMI cords in. And it's a mess, it's a pain to keep switching things out since I do have a PS4, a Switch, and an Xbox, only so many ports on my, um, my ports on my TV, it's just a pain to keep swapping all around, and it is some laziness, honestly, but hopefully I'll be able to afford and get that capture card within the next month, month and a half, and that won't be much of an issue, because I'll always have it hooked up, and I want to record, I'll just record, I don't have to plan ahead of time, shut my Xbox off, restart it, and all that problems that I have now. And, oh, another side quick, another problem with this capture card, sometimes it decides to do it going 480, why? I don't know, <laughs> but it does. So hopefully all of these things will be fixed and it'll make recording just be a little bit easier and would incentivize me to do it also. One thing I do want to talk about this week, because Halo Outpost Philly is this week, and I am actually going to Halo Outpost Philly. Uh, myself and a friend are going down for just Friday, unfortunately. Wasn't able to really, you know, pull like 180 bucks to stay all three days, but figure to go down for Friday. It should probably be the less busy of the days since some people usually still work on Fridays. And hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun. I know there's been a lot of mixed reviews when it comes to Outpost uh, was it Orlando, I believe, where like wait times and how certain things are set up. But honestly, I'm just looking to go have a good time and I'm going to either be recording a lot on my phone, my Nikon I have, or maybe I'll go see if I can pick up a little like camcorder to record a good video for. So, if you guys want to see some you know video footage of Halo Outpost, let me know, and I'll try the best I can. I'm not quite sure who's going to be at this Halo Outpost. I know a whole ton of people were at the first one, so I'm not quite sure. You know, Bravo, Unishek, uh, who from Three Four Three is going to be at this outpost, but. Hopefully some of them are, and maybe I'll get to meet some of them. You know, me and Unishik again would be pretty cool. I luckily got to talk to him a little bit at PAX East a few years ago, and he's a super cool guy. 
Um, I do know that Ubernick is coming to the Philadelphia one, so I really hope I can uh, meet up with him. It's been a long time since I played with Ubernick, but, you know, we were all part of a group that used to play together a lot during Halo 4. So it'll be cool to get to actually meet him in person and just chat and have some fun, hopefully. Um, and, yeah, if there's anything you guys want to see in particular, let me know, because I'm not really sure what's going to be there. But I'm definitely looking forward to having a good time and hopefully getting some cool Halo merchandise as long as it uh, doesn't sell out. <laughs> Alright, now for like the future of my channel. And I did say I want to make more content and I do have a, a good plan on what I want to do. A main chunk of the content on this channel is going to be replay reviews from a variety of different games. Mainly, of course, Halo. Um, you know, I did want to do a Road to 50 series or something like that with Halo 3 again and I had some videos recorded late last year after my Sea of Thieves video but I never got around to doing anything with them and I actually accidentally deleted them too so they're all kind of gone but I would like to continue that Halo 3 ranked playthrough and use replay reviews to kind of see how I'm doing judge how I'm doing and you know hopefully help grow and I know people want the, the Halo 3 series to come back this might be a way for me to do that and obviously I have no it was always called uh, Road to 50 but it was never really that I'm gonna get 50. I know I don't have the time to play as much as I used to. My skills have uh, degraded definitely from where I was a few years ago so no delusions in getting a 50 but I would like to see how high I can go in the rank mode. You know 45 was my cap back in the day. I'd like to at least get close to there eventually so I hope to keep that alive until we have some Halo Infinite gameplay or content to create. I also want to do some Overwatch ranked gameplay. If those of you who don't know or may have been out of the loop with Overwatch, they added a theater mode that's wiped every week, unfortunately. It's your last 10 games, and with every week's patch, it's wiped. But you can still go back and watch videos up until, you know, the Tuesday of the next week. So I plan to use that with an old second account I have. I'm not necessarily a Smurf account for people to go yelling. This account was uh, created when my original account was stolen years ago, so I've always just kind of had it to the side. And, you know, since accounts are free on the Xbox, I might utilize it more. I'm already at level 25, so I can join competitive with that uh, account. And I plan to use that account to grow and get better with the characters I don't use on my main account. So I'm not going to be trying to like be boosting or anything, but I'm going to play more supports like Baptiste, who's you know newer and I haven't had a chance to play. Um, Mercy, who I'm actually really not the best with, honestly. I know she's really an easy healer, but I'm just you know not the most experienced with her. So maybe her, maybe a little bit of Zen, and you know Ana is one of my main characters I use, but I'll have to see. I mean, I've been watching my gameplay on my main account and it's been lacking. So maybe occasionally I'll bring her out if I need to, but mostly for support I'm going to stick probably with Baptiste or maybe even Zen. Uh, DPS, I might try to do things, more things like Doomfist, Widowmaker, Hanzo, things I don't pick generally during my normal ranked that I think I could do well with. And again, I'll only pick these when situations allow. I'm not going to force things, I'm not going to try to smurf, I'm not going to try to annoy people. I'm going to try to play certain heroes that I normally don't get to play when app when you know available and for tanks tank is one of my weakest and it's probably going to be why i focus on that account the most so a lot of ryan a lot of arisa a lot of uh, wrecking ball who i really wanted to play and have been practicing on that account actually a lot recently so hopefully it'll be interesting and i know don't know how many people like overwatch on this channel but hopefully you know if you're in interested in seeing some console gameplay <laughs> for overwatch which i'm sure there's not that much I hope you guys will be able to enjoy that. And also, of course, Gears of War. I know there's quite a big uh, Gears fan base on my channel, thanks to my Grinding Gears series, which gave me a big boost in subscribers. So I don't want to forget about people who are here for Gears, and I do want to make Gears content. I recently went back and played, trying to get the uh, eSports cat skin, even though I got gypped out of watching the uh, hour eSport part of it, so I can't get the skin. I was watching the thing via the link the game gave me, but it didn't smell linked to my account. I guess I had a sign on the website 
which I didn't make abundantly clear. So I sat there and watched it for an hour, over an hour actually, and didn't get credit for it. So I went and played my five escalation matches, went online to look, and it's like, oh, you didn't watch the hour. And by the time I looked, the event was over. So I couldn't do that. So a tiny bit ticked about that. But I did have fun playing Gears again, so I would like to start playing that. With Gears 5 coming up, I do have the Ultimate Game Pass, so I'll begin Gears 5 a little earlier, so you'll definitely be seeing content there. Alright guys, I don't want to babble too much, I know I already had too many asides, but I am back to making content, you will hopefully be getting at least one match or one video a week from me, whether it be replay review or the occasional just off the collar commentaries like I used to do. So, the replay reviews are going to be some kind of you know, standard content with the occasional commentaries here and there. Hopefully you guys will like that, and it's good to be back making videos. Alright guys, have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.